We are going to put the final topping on this banana bread before we slip it in the oven for about 35 to 45 minutes. Now the way I've changed this recipe, not only adding extra spices, is I've added a topping. So many times when I'm at the bakery, I notice that when they have their muffins or their breads, they do a nice little sugar topping. but. I think sugar just by itself can be a little droll. So not only did I add sugar, but I add a little bit of brown sugar. You have a little bit of white sugar, okay? And the all important cinnamon. And if you're really, really living on the edge, you can literally take some ground up nuts and add that to the mixture as well, okay? And you just mix those together just so you don't have any chunks of brown sugar. Brown sugar has a real tendency to get a little bit clumpy, so you always wanna make sure that you, you know, really sift through it and work it out before you put it on. And then this is so simple, you're not even gonna believe it. I'm gonna add a couple more nuts just to, just to make it extra special for you because you're e-village viewers and I want you to be so delighted and happy when you make this fabulous banana bread. Then all you do is take a spoon and what you're going to do is you're going to loosely dust the top of the banana bread with this brown sugar, nut, and sugar mixture with a little bit of extra added cinnamon. That's super easy, isn't it? And what this is going to do is it's going to give it a really, really great little sheen to it. And this is really fun to do because when you're putting on the topping, you can put on as much as you really want. You can load it up. All right, so now this is gonna go in the oven at 350 for about 35 to 45 minutes or until it's golden brown.